What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss E, and it's time for Ask Miss E. I, you know, decided to rock the the hairband today. It's hair wash day, so I just decided to make this swoosh thing. I guess I'll talk about it more in my hair blog next. But um, the question comes from Jazzy Poo 07. I believe that's her name, 07. And she was going to be um, twisting her hair up for the first time with Rasta hair. I'm imagining that's the same thing as Molly Braid. And she wanted to know how to make neat parts that look neat. Um, for me, um, I personally, like, I'm, I'm not all about, you know, using a comb. But if you're really serious about your parts looking neat and clean, you might want to use a comb. Um, if it's easier for you to use a rat tail comb, just use the rat tail part. Um, it's very important that you've detangled your hair very well before um, braiding your hair. And so I recommend that you wash and, de and condition very well. And then um, you want your hair to be completely dry. So you're going to detangle while your hair is wet. And you want your hair to be dry before you actually start to braid it. So whether it's easier for you to wash it and then um, detangle it with the conditioner in, rinse the conditioner out with cool water, and then if you want it to air dry, maybe braid it up in plaits or just have it in a way that it won't get tangled. Um, for me, if I'm you know getting my hair um, braided that day, I might um, pull it out a little bit as I blow dry it to stretch it out. Um, one thing I've done is the banding method that you've seen in the um, video a, few, a little while ago. I take one of the long hair bands or a bunch of little short ones and I use them to stretch my hair out while I, str while I sleep to um, dry them without the heat. But the best thing, the most important thing is to make sure it's detangled very well so it won't hurt as much. And I like to use aloe vera gel when I'm braiding. I feel like the aloe vera gel keeps the parts separated nicely. And this hairstyle was done with aloe vera gel. And, as you, and I've already washed it one time. And um, as you can see, the braids are still looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So um, that is just my video for today for Ask Miss E. So I recommend that you have a comb, a rat tail comb if you prefer to use the rat tail portion, and aloe vera gel, and a mirror so that you can look at the back of your head in the mirror. I usually go row by row. Like I'll take the comb and I'll make one row in the back and like work my way up to the front. And so I just go row by row and it keeps it, it helps keep it nice and clean and it helps keep it so that when you're braiding your hair you want it to do the window effect you want to have like two braids together and the braid from a row above it to fall down right in the middle of that one so you won't have any gaps or anything like that so I recommend going row by row across and if it's easier for you what I also do sometimes is I do my parts ahead of time and I like use a clip to hold that portion together so I'll have a whole row of like clips in my hair holding those portions together but all of the parting is already done for each row ahead of time and then I'll sit there you know depending on how far I am into the middle of my head just take like a good little um, you know 10 minutes per row to braid it but um, I hope that helps you Jazzy Poo and remember if you have any questions you can leave them right on my channel um, I'll see you in the next video, my hair vlog, and thanks you guys for watching, subscribing, and rating. I appreciate it. Peace.